As we trudged up this great gorge of the north, we lost all sense of time. Every mile or less, side streams came down over the rocks in great white leaps. Some of the higher waterfalls seemingly pouring down from the clouds. As we climbed higher, the valley now behind us became a deeper slit in the jumbled crust of the earth. Here was a world of gray limestone precipices among the unknown recesses of which many stream valleys vanished through deep canyons. The black and jagged mountains seemed to rise infinitely into a world beyond the world. Underneath these great bounding walls, you dwarfed into nothing. It seemed to be the end of the earth, or the heart of another earth. Everything we looked upon was unknown to human gaze. Civilization seemed unreal, unbelievable. Our present situation seemed also unreal, but that was the unreality of a freshness beyond experience. Against the most distant horizon, where fact and infinity merged, the sun was shining brilliantly on countless lofty peaks without name, and beyond scope of human knowledge. All around us were gorges, thousands of feet deep, great snowbanks, bright green valleys, gaily colored rocks. All was peace and strength and immensity and coordination and freedom. I was happy in the immediate presence of nature in its most staggering grandeur, in living intimately with something so splendidly immense that all life seemed trivial in its presence.